In an unbelievable turn of events, the top-seeded Boston Celtics faced a significant challenge from the bottom-seeded Detroit Pistons in an overtime match. Explore the clash between two teams with entirely opposite fates, Boston Celtics making waves in the NBA, leading the league with a record of 24-6, while Detroit Pistons, with a 2-29 record, just set a new record with a 27-game losing streak, now extending to 28 after this match. The two teams met in Boston, where the home team was automatically favored. Despite being the stronger team, having better form and being unbeaten at their familiar home court, the Pistons shocked everyone by creating a 29-12 run to lead the Celtics by 19 points in the first two quarters. Although the lead was equalized in the third quarter, Boston, with nearly its full-strength lineup, except for Jalen Brown, struggled to easily defeat a Detroit team hungry for victory. It wasn't until overtime that Jason Tatum, along with Chris Stapps Porzingis and teammates, could secure a victory with a score of 128-122. Despite giving their all, the Detroit Pistons couldn't avoid their 28th consecutive loss in this season. This number adds another sad record to the NBA, having the longest losing streak in history. Now, this record will be jointly held by both the Sixers and the Detroit Pistons in the 2023-24 season. Cade Cunningham remained the focal point for the Detroit Pistons, scoring 22 points in the first two quarters before finishing the game with 31 points, 9 assists, and 6 steals. On the opposing side, Jason Tatum, 31 points, 10 assists, 5 steals, and Kristaps Porzingis, 35 points, 13-21 FG, 8 rebounds, led the comeback effort for the Boston Celtics. After over two months of competition, the TD Garden home team remains the only unbeaten team at home with 15 consecutive wins. Returning to the Detroit Pistons, they showcased their fighting spirit and competitiveness when the entire team played with discipline. The next opportunity to end the losing streak will come for coach Monty Williams and his team as they face the Toronto Raptors at home next Sunday.